to believe that summer break is almost over, which means it's almost time to go back to school for the kids. Yeah, and Local 24's Tish Clark met with DeSoto County School Superintendent Corey Oswalton about what's new this school year. Tish is live in the studio with tonight's local education. Hi, Tish. Hi, Katina. Hi, Richard. Well, kids are bummed. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Parents, well... I'll admit it, we're pretty excited about back to school, but we still have to make sure our kiddos are registered and they're ready to get back in the classroom. I know parents are excited uh, that the first day of school is almost here. Kids, you better cram in some summer fun while you can. I'm like, are you ready to come back? And the kids are going, and the parents are going, yes! <laughs> parents will receive emails and phone calls with instructions on when to register and what to bring. We have after hours registration at our district office over the next few days. Parents need to register students online, then bring proof of residency to their child's school. It may seem like somewhat of a hassle for parents, but we've got to do that to make sure that the students who go to school in DeSoto County schools actually do live in DeSoto County. There's a teacher shortage across the state of Mississippi. DeSoto County Schools held a career fair in the spring to recruit more teachers. They're also giving them more money. We uh, increased uh, the teacher pay supplement by a thousand dollars across the board uh, for each one of our teachers. You may notice a lot of new faces this year. DCS hired more than a hundred new teachers. We've got a few positions left to fill. Uh, but we're very confident that we'll have those filled before students return on August 6th. All right, DCS is also expanding. Four schools have been under construction for several months. A total of 20 new classrooms have been built. Live in the studio tonight, Tish Clark, Local 24 News.